Well, welcome back. So, this is a new project going on again. Um, as if I don't have enough of them going on, here is another one. So, just a little bit of quick backstory. When I built the Mac V1, it was because I was wanting a camper in order to take out to the uh, dark sky sites. Performed beautifully, was very comfortable, no complaints whatsoever. A gentleman saw it, wanted to buy it. I sold it. So that's a good thing. Um, so now we're on basically Mac V2. And what is that? So am I building another truck camper? No, I am not. Uh, this time I'm doing what I originally wanted to do, which was a tow behind 6x12 cargo trailer and then build out the interior uh, however I saw fit. So that's what we're on now. So technically Mac V2. Get it? V2? V2? Mac V2, and uh, so the next round of videos is going to be covering the building of that. And we'll also mix in some more uh, astronomy videos. I've actually been pretty busy with the telescope uh, since the trees went down. And here's a picture of that. So now I got some awesome views to the south, which I didn't have before because these trees were 60 foot tall. And very, very fluffy, so they blocked a lot of my southern views. But now I've got them back, so I was able to get some southern objects. Uh, what else? Um, well, so the new roof went on as well. Uh, that kind of was a pain in the ass. So I wasn't doing any videos for a while there just because there was so much construction going on. But that's all now done. The Mac V2 is underway, and the videos are coming. So before we get into the actual build of what I'm doing, Let's go ahead and go through the plans. So we're gonna to go to SketchUp and start there. So starting off with, we're going to my favorite online program, uh, SketchUp.com. Uh, this has just been an absolute lifesaver um, for doing any kind of projects. So if you're not familiar with it, it's just SketchUp.com and you can create a free profile and uh, be able to do some actually pretty extensive uh, 3D modeling. However, uh, there are certain things you can and cannot do with it on the free side of it. But for my intent and all my purposes, it actually does a rather very good job. So the dims I created in here are for a six by 12 foot trailer, cargo trailer, single axle. Kind of wanted a double axle, but you know, didn't get to that point. So it was a little bit more pricey than what I had originally anticipated. So I looked at two different designs. The first design uh, was kind of a more of a standard um, view or setup where there's a galley right in the front of it, a small bathroom shower to the side, and then usually the AC was mounted on the sidewall. Uh, of the trailer and then like a pull-out bed uh, in the rear. Um, this was so plain Jane, I really didn't like it and I wanted something a little bit different, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything at, at first, so I kind of was, this is where I was going originally. But then I saw a video of a guy who also built a 6x, well he actually did a 6x10 trailer and it was on uh, New Jersey Outdoor Adventures, which is a fairly good YouTube channel. They cover a lot of different camper vans and things that are set up. And I saw a guy on here, so this is not original, but I saw a guy that had a galley in the back of the trailer and then a couch kind of towards the front, and then this area was blocked up. And I really liked it, and just because... It was new and not so vanilla as the other one was. So basically, this is a, a, a couch which will slide out into a bed. These are 76 by 24 four inch mattress uh, foam cushions, I guess you could say. Uh, and this will pull out and then these will lay flat so it basically becomes a double bed so a 48 by 76. The galley is in the back now I'm probably not going to install 
uh, propane and all that other stuff, it would be cool to have. But uh, I've got a nice little camping butane slash propane stove that I can use. So there's no reason of building this into the countertop. There will be a small sink as there will be a 10 gallon water supply under here and then a gray water uh, for any drain back underneath the couch there. Now, the one I saw online or on the YouTube video had an actual shower. This, I'm not planning on putting a shower in, at least not at this time. However, I did like the idea of having a small bathroom back there uh, just so in the middle of the night, if I got up on it, that way I wouldn't have to walk up to the outhouses. Well, they're actually, they're a lot nicer than outhouses, but in the middle of the night is kind of a trek. So, you know, for those midnight emergencies uh, or 2 a.m. emergencies when you're bedding down to sleep, it will be nice to have a small uh, portable toilet back there and a little bit of privacy, though, you know, my dog doesn't care. I may eventually have uh, somebody with me, and I'm sure they would appreciate a little little privacy as well. The front nose is, let me try to blow this up a little bit for you. The front nose will have some shelves and cabinets in it. There, uh, The AC, usually I've seen these up towards the top of the roof uh, or the ceiling. I did not want to take it up that high. I preferred to keep it down a little bit low. Uh, so this is ref resting roughly about 35 inches above the floor. And then there will be storage space under here. Now, I was originally going to put a uh, lithium-ion battery under here. However, it's a little bit too small, so I'll wind up having to put it over on this side. But the AC fits in snugly there. The uh, intake would be right here on this side, and then this will be the exhaust towards the front. Now, I do have two windows I'm planning on putting in. I may not do that immediately. I may hold off on these, but I did go ahead and get a couple of windows uh, to put in there. Kind of counterintuitive if you're going out to a star park. You don't want any light to go out, but I'll also have three dome lights up here in the top, which are actually a combination of white and red light, and I will have covers for these windows, but... You know, during the late afternoons when you're waking up and you don't want it completely dark in here or artificial lights, so uh, that and in the fall months, you can open up these windows and get a nice cross breeze coming through there. So there's another cabinet right there. That cabinet will have the 110 volt uh, power supply coming into it. So there will be a uh, 30 amp power hookup. That will go through the sidewall there, and then that will be able to power the AC and uh, possibly I'll put a TV in there. So um, that's kind of up in the air for right now and not mandatory for me to install, but uh, there is a possibility of putting one in there. So, oh, and right up under here is will be a slide out for the uh, ice chest or Actually, it's a it's a bodega chest refrigerator, a uh, little 12 volt one. So there will be some 12 volt power going through it for the lights up here on the top, as well as for the cooler. So that is the idea behind it. That's what we're looking at. Everything has been measured out, and uh, the build will start. So the Mac V2, as we see it, this is what's coming up next. So. Stay tuned for more videos.